Cody attacks in St. Pete as more incidents and sightings are reported on social media. Yeah, ABC Action News reporter Sean Daly says people are taking extreme measures now to keep their pets safe. I started seeing horrible stories about cats going missing and small dogs, and that that's when I became concerned. Yeah, they'd be a tasty little tidbit, I think. Hillary Hart has lived in Old Northeast for almost 30 years, but not until recently has she armed her dogs, Toto and Mojo, against coyotes. That's right, coyote vests, spikes around the throat, because that's where coyotes go for the kill. They kind of look like super dogs, don't they? Like you guys are going to start flying away. Coyote sightings and pets attacked are now a regular thing near Coffee Pot Bayou. St. Pete officials warn residents that coyotes here are most active at dusk and dawn. If you see one, make loud noises, throw rocks. It's called coyote hazing. It was freaky. Heidi Barty came face to face with one at night. She didn't haze. She was too weirded out. Mangy fur. It was the ugliest looking thing. I wouldn't want my dog running around at night after seeing that. Hillary Hart does let her dogs run around her backyard, even when she's not home. But spiky coyote vests and all, she still worries. I put this fence up before I knew about coyotes. Coyote can get over any fence that a cat can get over. A cat can. This right. is an easy jump for a cat and a coyote. <laughs> right. Even I could jump over this fence. Right. right. <laughs> so that's not much protection. In St. Pete, Sean Daly, ABC Action News.